the curriculum every day that they go through is based for third and fourth graders to be able to do movement-based activities wearing an accelerometer or a pedometer, upload the information onto these tablets, and that information is actually housed in a server at Merrimack College. So Merrimack College and the Y, the Merrimack Valley Y, are partnering together to have this model prove that children can improve their test scores through activity. It's almost a, we call it, pretty cool. what I call it is kind of a sneaky science method. You're, you're, you're kind of doing active fun things, but you're learning as you're doing it. Obviously, it helps with us fighting obesity with children and uh, improving test scores. The STEM program, so it's a big deal for us. Yeah. There's lots of funding uh, that the Y has gotten. We were, uh, uh, we're hoping to receive, if you believe, a million dollar grant from the Robert Woods Johnson Foundation, which is another step for us because they had initially given us a $500,000 grant uh, to begin the work. And the idea here is to take this model with your after school programs and scale it to other YMCAs around the country. So there are several around the country that are doing the model that we have going on right now. And this is really the national hub. Final storage yet. What will happen is we have separate entrance for parents to come in with a secure door and be able to be here, come in, enter the facility through this door with another secure entrance, and take some out of the stream of the parking for the main facility. And this wall has all been re renovated, and everything beyond this wall floor is all new space. So everything has been uh, completely redesigned and redone. This is our, one of our school aged classrooms. So, after school programs, when they dismiss, they have several school bus so here. Uh, they're right they're right cared right. for, and they, they bleed over into another room. They come over and have activities in a couple of different stages. And our preschool programs, so kids are not yet old enough for school, are three different classrooms in a row right here. And it looks like. Yeah, so new entrances are right here from this hallway into the pool deck. This is the first of two, then there's three windows, the second is at the end. So this is going to be a hallway with um, public furniture, like just seating in here for people watching uh, kids take their swim practice. Typically, parents waiting for kids to kind of get done, mm -hmm. more of a social area for us. And then right up when the top of the gym is up for the rest of the day. This hallway goes all the way through and into the new construction. It comes, it will wind up ending at this wall, which will get dressed up a little bit. It'll take a sharp left and a right. Um, this is our stairs going to the lower level, which was going to get taken out but with uh, some design changes and schedule conflicts, including budget conflicts. We decided we're going to keep this stair. Um, and the hall is originally going to go straight through and open into the new the space we were just in. That changed uh, just recently, we're gonna keep this, and we think this is a pretty nice, visible spot to have other recognition on as well, so it'll be a nice feature wall there for us. Watch your step as you come over. But on the right-hand side, there's a program room and a board room. There's a small kitchenette. There'll be uh, power over here for a television and display screen that we use for presentations. But also during our off times uh, meetings, we use this room for programming, so this will wind up being used quite a bit. There's a small kitchenette inside of that space, and then through the doorway would be where they'll have our, our live space construction and administrative office, and so we can now connect to that administrative side. Yeah. Through this doorway, is the second of two child watch rooms. It's own bathroom is an important feature. So child watch is different than child care. Child, child watch is babysitting when you're working out if you have small children oh, gotcha. with you. Okay. You want to take a class and have them in our care. We'll keep them active and, and safe while you can take a class and enjoy yourself. We anticipate obviously growth of membership in our small child watch space we have now is not going to suffice. So we did plan on gotcha. having two bigger rooms. And during the time that it's not so busy, this one will be used for different programming as well, so we'll be able to turn this on. But it connects to the first of the two child watch rooms right through its own door. Right now, core, we, we count two ways so to do it. We do membership units, which can be a single adult family. Yeah. A little so right door will swing in, we'll get the kids line. inside, and we'll be able to take down. Um, and get them split up by age, you know, if you have younger kids with younger kids and right, with older right. when the kid's busy, it's important to do, but plenty of space for them to stay active yeah, and so activities to be in here for us. Uh, yeah. It's led by yeah. and next fiscal just year be able to have parents get their own time, be able to relax, get a workout in. Uh, but we'll come through and I'll show you where the locker rooms are as well. So the main hallway again goes all the way through, you know, when you're 
coming in from the main entrance, you would turn right and come down here. I'll show you that in a second. But the men's and women's locker rooms are here. Oh, okay. When it's all said and done, we'll have a total of five locker rooms, men, women, wow. uh, boys, girls, and families. So women's locker room here, also has a sauna in it, very similar condition, almost done. And then our main entrance goes so here. Kind of so our new main entrance is right through those doors. Mm -hmm. They've spray painted a, the, what the front desk will look like, just wow. really for reference to the lights hanging above it. Oh, gotcha. So they've got the electrical work done there, but our new main desk will be here. So you can envision you come in, scan your card, do your membership mm -hmm. work, and then once you're in, you, you'll have to go to the pools or locker rooms, taking a right to go to the main facility or you go down the stairs into our group exercise room. So this hallway is pretty significant here. Oh, it's big. You have all this natural light coming in from the five skylights up above. The will be out on this. And your access to the main studio is space. So they have an opportunity uh, to put their practice right here in our building. And we obviously, as a uh, basically, they're the owner of the building. They're paying us the rent to be it, so it's a lease agreement. And what they decided to do is take this 5,000 square feet and split it right down the middle. Do physical therapy on one side and general practitioner work on the other. So it works for them. And it's big PT space down here. Do some exercise. What you're looking at now, though, you see the soft enough above, but below that, in that same footprint, will be a cafe. So you can drink some snacks and other types of things. You can be right there. Uh, we're operating that as a business inside. We're going to do that ourselves. And then there's a lounge in the front end, looking into the third. And on the membership increase as a result of this. Our hope is to get to 5,000 units this year, probably, if we can make it. Uh, so we're at 5,000 units now. Our goal is to get to 5,000 this fiscal year and make sure we maintain. We have some budget assumptions in there. So the units includes the families, about 14,000 members. Wow. For this, by the end of this first year. From nine. Uh, nine. Wow. And we've had uh, comparable uh, other YMCAs that have opened that have had that same experience. So, a lot of the design good. concepts from other YMCAs. Yes, yes. We, we, what's work, what's well, not work. Exactly, Bob. Yeah, we brought in uh, really an expert in uh, adjacencies and trends of uh, YMCAs today. Okay. He does this all over the country. He's, he's worked with us since the beginning. Huh? We've been working on this for at least eight years. Wow. Where we so landed is month? not where we began. Right. No. <laughs> oh, I bet. That's all we Yeah, what's in. another month? We're straight back out and you can see the family locker room. That's our fifth locker room. <laughs> Family locker rooms, so you have the ability for a family to come in here with dads and daughters, moms and sons. It's a big issue. We only have a couple locker rooms, one's male, one's female. And once the kids get older, you know, it's hard to accommodate. This is so desperately needed. So I have a little red shower there on the way to the pool or back, and then five changing rooms on the right hand side. The first three have a full sink, toilet, and shower in each of them. So you get your family in there, shut the door, get totally cleaned up, dried off, and not you go. And the last two have a sink and a toilet in there as well, so it's nice private changing room. And the big open area is really lockers and changing room space. So the lockers going in, uh, floors being done, sinks, counters, and mirrors. And then some other lockers around this way. This is more of the, we're envisioning more of the intermediate and advanced wellness area. We're going to do some things up here, mostly plate loaded stuff, the flat benches, the dumbbells, functional training, leg stations, all of those types of things will be in here. Additionally, we're, buying, we're doing a couple of unique things. One is we're buying this thing called a functional trainer, it's called the Octagon. 
going to sit roughly below that light that you see. It's a big multi-sided piece of equipment that you wind up getting.